And here we are with, for the second last match for tonight. Before, but before we speak about this, let me first inform you about what happened earlier tonight. We had this fire promo from Zasha, where he speak out, had some real shooting in, and also um, speaking out his mind about last week. Uh, show and main event and stuff and um, also that revealed that he's been announced to be the general manager of the night by the boards of directors and um, yeah which also um, he tried his best to make the night as fair and matches fair and um, um, fair and um, fair as possible and um, also earlier tonight Sasha and his brother invoked their rematch clause for the tag titles that they lost two weeks ago in a banger tag team match against um, Raul Mendoza and Jacqueline White and tonight they had another banger match and they regained their tag titles um, in a very very good match if you haven't checked it out check it out right now if you don't you miss so you miss the best the best matches you missed the probably two two greatest matches we had in the entire series also um we had earlier tonight high energy blue falcon and clark got a huge got a win um which is huge for them over kylo kyle and wadi um then also we had to cox against a mystery opponent which turned out to be the legendary stacy keebler making her surprising and shocking return but got ambushed by the cox and got a disqualification win over the former nxt uk women champion and also um we had uh the blade one against zero and any so the cage match and uh it was very close to the end <laughs> and uh, the blade won us because of their smartness and their sneaking ways and um their um you know <laughs> cheating and numbers game antics won the matchup over zero and andy yet again and um yeah but andy still undefeated in singles competition as much as legend killers who we found out earlier tonight in the battle royal uh that he's the new number one contender for the nxt north america championship which is currently in the possession of blue falcon and um yeah yeah, while well, Maskman, the NXT United Kingdom champion, has issues with Pete Dunne. He isn't here tonight, but he got attacked last week uh, by Pete Dunne. Also, um, earlier tonight, we uh, saw just a couple of moments ago, Candice LeRae defeating Issue while we are count out. Um, yeah. Well, as they, they competed there, he, he did feed, and also, like I mentioned, um, in Candice and EO matches, um, both teams, which we see in this tables tag match, both Raquel and Kota, uh, who's our NXT Women Champion and the Toxic Blonde were involved in this huge eight person tag match last week where the Toxic Blondes and the Demon Family and my Cans got to pick up a huge win over the opposition. And yeah, tonight we have a tables tag match between because the general manager Sasha Sim uh, thought that it would be fair for both teams. And also, can I just uh, mind that I gave Dana a new gear? I hope it's fitting to a new attitude and um, yeah hopefully it uh, will be also a good tables match <laughs> as there comes Raquel Gonzalez making her way to the wing first yeah, Mass present in the women's division Michael but also to uh, much support and cheering from the crowd this big mommy cool so popular with the crowd for my NXT Women's champion when the first ever two times tag team classic. and, and she won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and Deep Michael and uh, the tag titles with Kota together before. A true of the yeah, definitely won her in the corner. And she's a huge favor in this favorite way. matchup because of her strength and power. But don't forget, Dana and Mandy are also powerful in their own words, why Kota is very. Very fast, very agile, and very tough, very mean, but not so mean in the recent weeks. But it's enough to teach the toxic blonde some lessons about respect and friendship. Uh, perhaps I don't know. I mean, could have stepped Raquel in the back in the past, but now we need friendship and um, tag team. With Kota and Raquel once again teaming up because of Kota got sick about the numbers game between Toxic Blondes on a team on a former friend and teammate, which led to Kota winning the NXT Women's Championship at Takeover 30 in this faded four way, which involved Raquel, Dana, and Mandy as well. While Mandy and Raquel trade the belts back and 
force with each other. So now Koda is the champion and we don't know who will face her takeover. At the next takeover that is. We don't know which is the task in hand for Koda coming to take over. Yeah indeed. As now she's facing with Ra uh, with um Raquel the Talks of Blondes. So they come as a fan chanting NXT, NXT, NXT as much as they chant Kota and Raquel. As they come Stano for new gear. Look how fresh she looks. Look so how ready she looks as well and yeah. Also I think she lost parts of her gear perhaps or maybe not. Maybe it's meant to be like this. I mean I haven't spoke with Dana before the matchup. But it still looks good in my opinion. But it's anyway it's her Antoine, so you know <laughs> she have to live with it. And maybe maybe it's not supposed to happen with the gear, but maybe it is. With a new gear, new attire, new mean attitude, new mean gear. So this will be this will be interesting to watch. Stabbing the crowd on the back after so many years from Dana. Really wasn't. Really caught me by surprise as much as the crowd got caught by surprise by Dana with that. And she's laughing about it with a new mean attitude of joining Mandy on the, to allow Mandy to get the title back from Kota, uh, from Raquel after losing it back to her. But that's all in the past. But this is in the right now in the time as Mandy. Toxic blonde bombshell here. And from your town hikes, New York. And don't forget Mandy Rhodes as a former That's right. But even the man himself makes mistakes. so judgmental. Former NXT woman champion not once but twice. So that's impressive. Same about Raquel is. Dakota's her first time with the gold. Could be ending short. So we don't know which is on stake for Koda at TakeOver. Byron, no one wants... Byron, we uh, don't talk about that much past. <laughs> yeah, so just to let you know, I mean... You can inform them, but I don't think that the people care about that match anymore. I mean, between Manny and Sony, where Sonya had to leave. Uh, Smackdown as an active competitor, so now Toxic Blonde and Cole and Raquel starting off here. Of what a close line there from Raquel, so I mean, they end up flying as Kota. The punches on many, what a drop kick there. It's like Kelly Jack and Dana from the way. No stomp to the face there from Kota to Mandy. It's like Kel tripping Dana around like it's nothing. Kicks there from Kota to Mandy. Raquel sending Dana at first against the wing pose, yeah. It's Kota. Snap my take down. And the neck break away. Oh, Kota almost against the wing pose from Dana. That's not Kota. But trying to bring Mandy back on the wing against the nose table, I don't know. As Mandy goes head first against the no wing pose, yeah. That's Kota. Go to the back as. And Mandy head first against the apron is back inside the ring is Dana with a sleeper slam there from Raquel. The first person go to the table will lose the match for the teams. With the respect the team has kicked to the midsection there from Raquel to Dana. As Dana will punch in the face of Raquel but on the outside could have tried to bring Mandy to the table. Can she do it? No, ever reverse from Mandy. It's close on from Raquel to Dana. As Mandy tried to slam Koda to the table. Nope, fall away slam, she misses with as Dana attacked Raquel with the table. Well, Raquel was distracted with what's going on on the outside between her friend and teammate Kota against Mandy. What a bulldog from the champion. And then it's the woman champion, that is the highest prestige prize from the woman's perspective. What a blow there from Dana to Raquel. As Raquel sends Dana against the table, can she put her through it though? First head first first and now Mandy bringing Kota back into the ring as 
Raquel put Zayna to the table and win the match. Um, just like that. Well, brutal win to, way to win a tables match. Hopefully Dana's alright after that. But I'm concerned about her. And look nasty. As they're happy to win, but I'm concerned about Dana. I I hope we get updates this week or next week as we await our main event for the night already. And we had one great match in the opener between the Brothers and the Legado de Fantasmas, Raul Mendoza and Jackie White here tonight. But the West was under my high expectations, but maybe you found it good anyway. Anyways, we the show must go on, so hopefully we see it to the next match in the main event.